subscription spot. Spot's having a look at another collector's case. This one for July 2016. Clear as day. This is your destination right here. www.collectorscase.com You can get one of these fantastic boxes delivered to your house every single month. The top of the box shows collectorscase.com. You can also follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Somebody right now is saying, Spot! Spot! Spot your name, your address. It's right there. It's okay. It's okay because that's not actually my home address. That's where you guys can send me stuff as well. So if you guys want to send me letters or boxes, anything you want, it's right there. It's also down in the video description down below. So don't worry. Don't worry. Even this guy right here, he's laughing. He's like, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, that's not his home address. On the side though, uh, the collector's case, once again, www.collectorscase.com. Let's go ahead and open this up. Gonna need a knife. Got old red. Let's go and open this up. We're gonna go ahead and cut the paper tape on the front. And we're gonna find out what's inside from collector's crate collector's case I should say dot com I also lost the little end of it I was being silly with my knife and see what I did I lost the bottom end of my knife there you go just slides into place somebody asked me actually why do you call uh, old red old red when the knife is black it's clearly black other than exacto saying red it's just one of my things I don't know same as why do I call a blue knife Hank it's a quirk I suppose points I can always make for the collector's case presentation. Everything looks very pristine, very polished. I like that. Including the packing paper that they put over top, concealing what goodies are going to be awaiting us inside. Let's peel this back just like that. And I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what that is. So I'm just putting that to the side because I think that's going to give away something. And I don't want to give away anything. First thing we have is a Xenomorph. 3.5 inch vinyl collectible scaler. We've had a look at scalers on the channel before. Smaller scalers, this is the much larger scaler for much bigger cords. Also looks like it would fit a straw. Not that you would want to put an alien xenomorph on your drinking straw, but it looks like it's roughly about the same size. There, there's what it looks like on the back. Leave other collectibles in the dust. Scalers are always up for action. Don't be surprised to find them hitching a ride on your messenger bag or swinging from the chandeliers. These cute minis attach to cords, cables, and more. So they can go where you do. Collect your favorite character and take them anywhere. That right there. Also got ourselves a t-shirt. Let's open that up. And the front of the t-shirt says, Start Game. Very nice. And I think that's what Space Invaders start game. Nice black t-shirt. Yes, I know. Spot does own a lot of t-shirts. We also get inside. Now this is Force of Will. I guess it's a trading card game. I probably will not break out any sort of let's play this game right now sort of suggestions. But let's certainly peruse through some of the cards that they have in there. Let's go ahead and open up the pack. There's two packs. No, that's the wrapper. That's Tupac. And we'll just kind of quickly flip through here. I'll show you some of the artwork on the cards themselves. Really nice artwork, though. bunch of different uh, stones. So there's pack number one. Well, let's go ahead and pack, open up pack number two. And for pack number two, I like this one, Captain Hook. Gentlemen, star, what does it say? Star Key. Yes, indeed, some nice artwork here. There you go. 
might ask one of my friends if they want to give that a play later on. I'll put that right there. And let's see what else we have in here. We have a couple of Casper Ghost cards. We also have a Star Trek Original Series 50, 50th Anniversary Trading Cards. Gear, look at that. Slightly raised, I guess slightly embossed card featuring the Starfleet logo and 50 on there. I like that. And then we've got some Casper Fleer cards. I liked Casper when I was a kid. I have to honestly say, it. I wasn't a big fan of the Casper live action movie, which I think had, oh, uh, what was her name? I think the girl from, yeah, this, this girl right here. <laughs> this one right here. Casper cards. Ah, that's what Christina Christina Ricci, I think, was in it. Dibs. Why do I feel like Steve Gutenberg was also in Casper? And the next pack. Christina Ricci. Boy, she matured later on in life. Chance of a ghost. That looks like a double and another double. And finally, the last pack of cards. I'm not expecting to get Casper cards. That's pretty cool. Stinky. Yeah. It's like the Casper cartoon, I think, a little bit more. Oh, Bill Bill Pullman. Why did I say Steve Gutenberg? Was he in something else too? I don't know. Christina Ricci, Bill Pullman, and Scared Stiff. Inside as well, one of one of the things that we've had a look at before, and I actually opened this one before because we've reviewed, we've had a look at the reaction figure of uh, Rocketeer here. Being that this is one of my favorite movies of all time, we now have one sealed, and I'm probably going to keep it sealed in card. Coming to us from the folks over at Funko and Super 7, www.reactionfigures.com. Very cool. It's even, it hasn't even been punched. Look at that. The punch is still there. Pristine. We also have inside a Ghostbusters Stay Puffed Apron and Chef Hat. <laughs> Adult apron, one size fits all. The hat is hysterical. That's from Cryptozoic Entertainment. I could put that on maybe when I'm baking. Ghostbusters Stayed Puffed Apron and Chef Hat. That is awesome. And then finally, with Collector's Case, you have always the opportunity to get a, a signed autograph as well. And you can always get, the, there's always the, the sure thing. The sure thing gives you all the things that you could potentially get in the random selection or you can just randomly get it as well. And in this case, we've got Mitch Buchanan, or the, ha the Hasselhoff, David Hasselhoff himself, autograph. There's the back there. The collector's case certif uh, certifies that this 8x10 uh, photograph was autographed by David Hasselhoff at the Niagara Falls Comic Con on July 7th, 2005. Very, very cool. Something else in here too, and I don't think maybe it's oh well, maybe it's just an extra. It's just like a little uh, just a little box here. Very very cool. I'll put him. He'll just kind of. Hey, I'm Mitch Buchanan. All right, so let's see this. What we got inside here. So once again, this is the collector's case for July. Uh, contents included the Ghostbusters Stay Puffed Apron and Chef Hat. A 3.5 inch alien xenomorph scaler, force of will starter demo pack, Casper trading cards, and reaction retro figure of Rocketeer. Then on the flip end of it, uh, you have the collector's case delivers more hits inside our cases every month than other subscription sites with randomly inserted bonus pop vinyl figures from Funko's latest releases. 
Oh, look at the other autographs. They also had a, oh, they had a Knight Rider. I would love to get the Knight Rider. But again, like there is the, the regular released boxes and then also there's the Sure Thing box. And the Sure Thing box gives you stuff that would be normally randomly selected inside the box as well. Love Knight Rider. Oh, I would have loved this. Oh, I would have loved that autograph. However, though, today's, uh, today's subscription box, we're having a look at the collector's case for July 2016, including an autograph of the Hoff himself. If you guys are interested in the collector's case delivered to your house every single month, don't delay. Click the link down below and subscribe. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more subscription spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.